We're back working on the garage gym and we've already got our wall mount rack installed and next is working on getting the plates off the ground. I think I have four different pieces of pipe that we're going to attach. Attach it right to the wall so I'll show you guys how to do that. I want to start off by seeing how far apart these need to be to be off the ground. Okay. So we've got that circle drawn. Got our one fitting. So these are uh, one and a quarter inch galvanized iron pipe flange, pipe floor flange, installed to the. So we're going to attach these for a quarter inch by one inch uh, lag screws. We got our first one done. Now that we have our pipes attached, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna attach it to the wall. I'm gonna start off by drilling a pilot hole and I'm using another lag screw here to get it nice and tight to the wall and secure since it's gonna be holding a lot of weight. I wanna, I wanna make sure I hit a stud and I know right here is a stud because I just put this drywall in. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to drill into that. Seems nice and tight. It's also resting on the ground, so it's not really going to go anywhere. No real risk there. It's not going anywhere. Go ahead and test it with a 45. So here is the finished product. You can, if you want, put some caps on it to uh, make it look a little bit nicer. And I might do that after some, some time. The whole project took about 10 minutes to do, but that does not include prep time. I thankfully already had these wood pieces cut, so I didn't need to do that. That may take a little bit extra. Um, this also, the whole solution was under $100. I haven't ran the receipts yet, but you just wanna make sure you have it secured with some lag screws because those are going to give it uh, the structural strength and then I put one in here and the rest I just put wood screws throughout. It's strong enough to hold two 45 pound plates so it's got 90 pounds on it we'll see how it holds up over time. And there's our weight system. So I am going to put one more up here just to hold the tin so that way we have everything in line. Uh, I'm going to put one more lag screw in it just to be safe, but other than that, you're pretty much done. From the beginning, the materials I bought, I bought lag screws, I bought a pipe floor flange, and some threaded galvanized iron pipe. And so I bought three of them. I'm going to go back and get one more. Like I said, the project cost about, you know, it was under $100 to do the whole thing and now our weights are off the floor. So thanks for watching and I hope this helped. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks.